We found these kinds of pages. I didn't mm. think they were relevant to this case. I have them right here. to get anything from the field office? No, I'm all set. I'll park there anyway. I want to walk to the diner, get a feel for the town. Alrighty. Oh, I see the map. The diner's just up the waterfront. Shouldn't keep the sheriff and our witnesses waiting. I smell coffee. All right, let me check the map first. All right. Uh, okay, so I need to do the, go there. But let me check the place out. Let me check here. Oh. I'm going to go check something out. Be right back. Got it. What's it? Tape your weather report. That concludes our debate on weather pets. Okay. Brought to you by Davis Family Moose Jerky. Wait a second. Let's put this up again. So we're good here. Okay. Let me check. Hello there. Bro. Anything here? What is that? Uh, Billy's boat yard. I need something to cut this. All right. Hey, I see something. Give me that. Uh, nope. This one, this okay. one. Okay, nice. Accept, accept. So what's that? Wait a second. The fear the dark, fear the woods. Oh, sorry. Uh, trauma pad, adhesive bandages. A battery pack and I got shotgun ammo. Okay. So that's nice. Manuscript is nine. Charm bracelet flashlight. Alright. How about here? Anything here? Who's making that sound, man? Alright, let's go here. Hi. Hi. Uh, Elderwood Palace Lodge. Okay, let's go inside. <laughs> Just how much coffee have you had today, Charlie? <laughs> don't know, don't care. Not to toot my own horn, but I am pretty darn sure my <laughs> I mean our float will be the bell of the ball at this year's Deer Fest. Oh Just dear. A few more days. Thank you. Uh that's the deer dinner, right? We need to go there, but let me check here first. Better is better. I'll be back in a second. Roger. <laughs> okay, so that's the dodge. Mm. 
No, that's a grand reopening. Founders Park was relocated where oh okay. Tweet, tweet, my sweet. That. Stomping around the like that. The passage of time is deceiving. The days of our lives are fleeting. And the end. Okay, I see something. Another Alex Casey lunchbox? Nice. Hello there. So, how have you been? I hear things are working out for you. Oh, thank you. Hey. Let's go and check here. Can I go out? Oh, okay. I can't so leave here yet. Lots of work left to do. It's the boundary, okay. And we got something there which I don't think I can get in. Did you get lost, Anderson? Hey. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. I'm set for coffee. You know, I wouldn't say no to another. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. This is Agent Alex Casey. Tim Brinker. And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. Frankly, we could use the help. Your deputies said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them mm. sound like suspects. Mulligan and Thornton are still on about that? No, no, the bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but you can decide for yourselves. They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll see what they have to say. Casey, you compare notes with the sheriff. Take your time. All right. Can't believe that happened. Still feel like I'm gonna be sick. Slow down ever since Calder Mike was fast off. Let me guess. Missing person cases spiked around 2010. Let me check here. What does the deer do? I feel bad for these guys. The dream work? Copy. Nothing here. Can't open this with my bare hands. Alrighty. Nothing. Okay. I think these Excuse are the ones, me. right? I'm Agent Saga Anderson. Are you the bookers? That's us. I'm Tammy and he's Ed. Hello, officer. Just Saga is fine, Ed. So, are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take a bath, screw into pillows, that kind of thing. <laughs> We're not charging you. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about, okay? Why were you at the Cauldron Lake? What were you doing at Cauldron Lake last night? I'm a writer. True crime. We're here from New York, doing some research on a famous novelist, Alan Wake, who went missing here. I was Ooh. down at the lake getting some details. Perfectly legal. Can you tell me what you saw? So what did you see in the woods? This naked dude came out of the lake and he was acting crazy, shouting weird shit at us. He must have been on something. Unless skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. Then we heard shooting. We ran into these psychos in deer masks. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives, like some kind of satanic cult. And then we bolted and called the cops. Okay. Cult is where we're wearing deer masks, okay. What makes you say it was a cult? <laughs> the masks and knives aren't enough. <laughs> they were shouting, cult of the tree, the cult of the tree. Called up the tree. Oh, oh, and then we found it. The whole thing was terrifying. That's all.
We're dealing with an organized group of killers, not a lone serial killer. Okay. The cult of the tree is behind these murders. This case just became much more complicated. I'll need to start a new file. Okay. But it's my first cult case. Exciting. Really? The cult of the tree, right? Let me add to the lunchbox first. <sighs> Put them here. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? Wait a second. Uh, cult stars, four clue, cult of the tree. Uh, let's do the cult status first. These stashes could contain clues about the cult. Hmm. Better keep an eye out for more. Okay, I see, I see. Cult status in Cauldron Lake. I found hidden cultist stats. I should keep an hour out for more. Alright. Uh, this is in Bright Falls. Uh, Cauldron Lake, right? Alright. Do I still have more? I have. And the cult of the tree, right? Five clues I got. The cult of the tree. I need to know more about the cult of the tree if I'm going to shut them down. All right. Cult goal. So. Talk to someone. Okay. And what kind of cult? <laughs> Cultists were wearing mask. If they are hiding their f okay, they aren't established enough connection to Deerfest. Triangle figures made from twigs. Cult symbols. What's the purpose? Marking territory warning feels derivative, like something out of a horror movie. Large amount of supplies laid out on the table. Okay, cult psychology. Alright, this is a lot of equipment just laying around. How long they have been here? And then we got who's involved. We got one, two, three, four, five. Okay. We got cult symbols. Cult psychology. Okay. And that's fine. The bookers, right? The cult of the tree. The cult of the tree. What are the bookers telling me? I found their necklace. The symbol is two triangles. The cult wants their spruce tree bag, Tammy. Finders keepers, Ed. My publisher will want this on the cover. Tammy found something. A necklace belonging to one of the cultists. How could she know that? <laughs> The bookers were at Cauldron Lake. Why? This was built to hide what's there. They say the rider fell in the lake. Private party. No trespassing. My book has questions. Past the bolt cutters. They broke in for the sake of Tammy's book. Mm. Nothing to do with a the murder. They were telling the truth. I think you found something. So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. How did you put that together? It's evidence. You need to hand it over. Okay. Okay. Told you not to keep that thing, Timmy. How the hell did she know that? Thanks. This could prove to be helpful. Do me a favor. 
Stick around town for now in case we have any more questions. <laughs> like we'd even dream of missing dear Oh god. Saga! Saga Anderson. As I live and breathe. I thought we'd never see you back here after that awful, awful thing happened to your baby girl. How are you? Um, I'm sorry. Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, silly. Rose. You know me. I don't think I do. And what horrible thing happened to my baby girl? She... drowned. Your daughter? That's so weird, you don't remember. How do you know I have a daughter? Oh, I know what this is. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. Happens on TV all the time. No. You're mistaking me for someone else. <laughs> if you say so. That's weird, man. How exactly do we know each other? So, Rose, help me out. How do you think we know each other? We all know each other around here. It's been a while, but I never forget a face. Or a coffee order. Guess I just have one of those faces. Seen anything out of the ordinary in town lately? Suspicious people in deer masks? No one's suspicious. But soon enough, there'll be lots of happy people wearing deer masks for deer fest. Practically everyone will be wearing one. Good to know. That's all? All set. My guys have Nightingale at the morgue if you're ready to go take a look. Let's go. Well, Casey, I got a lead. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. A murder cult. Fuck. Have you heard of this cult of the tree, Sheriff? Only the urban legend. If you're in the woods at night, the cult will get you. That sort of thing. We're not gonna find out you're the Grand Wizard or something, are we? I played some D&D back in the day. <laughs> the wizard was always my favorite class. Morning, Sheriff. Looks like you have some guests. Ah, uh, morning, Ted. Yeah, real important guests. Deerfest. Always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> Too true. More the merrier. Have a good one, Sheriff. Uh... Hey, what do you know about that waitress from the diner? <laughs> Rose? Yeah, she's a bit of a space case. She always has been. Why? What'd she do now? She kept saying that my daughter drowned. She even knew my name. It was all very weird. Rose has a talent for saying the weirdest thing possible. But it's best not to take it personally. That's a bank. Okay, let me check that out. Uh, so that would be the cult symbols, right? Okay. And what else? Okay, sold. Zero clues. I got zero clues everywhere, right? I got weapon upgrade, which I could do. Uh, another head sword. I think the magazine shot would be nice, right? Let's do that. Saga had lost count of how many shots she'd fired, but she was sure it must have been more than she had in her magazine. And hey. yet, she'd not run out of ammo. As if the magazine had grown to fit more bullets, she fired again. All right.
All right, let's go in. I'll be right with you, sir. Yep, yep. Just here to pay my ticket. Whenever you're ready to take my money. Let me take the map. Sheriff's map. Okay, so we are at the front desk. There is a container here. Hmm. Okay. Uh. First aid, sure. Uh, there is something wrong with this, uh, the glass thing. Let me check if I can fix that. Ah, uh, okay. Maybe this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Transparency we don't need, okay. Uh, we can do this. Yeah, okay. This was the issue. Okay, 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 okay. I think this is much better. Okay. I don't know what was the... Okay, so... Let me check the other places since I'm here. They locked up an innocent man. Sure, buddy, sure. Who's this guy? Hello? I swear I didn't do anything. Sure, buddy. They're a lying bunch of bastards. Sure, buddy. <coughs> What's this? I know one of you is stealing the toilet paper. Huh. Okay. Sherry? You wanna talk? No What's this? Speeding happening here, I see. Sir, some patience, please. Okay. This is the third time this week. Not your person, not your personal assistant. Reminder. Okay, that's fine. Okay, let me check this. Nothing here. Agent. Anything here? As you know, the investigation is being taken over by the federal agents. Oh Sheriff dear, I am a tourist, fully. and it appears that I'm lost in the woods. Being serious, Nelson. If only had a tour guide also. Bear season. <laughs> oh no, a bear. Help. Somebody called for a tour guide. Oh wow, Koskala Brothers Adventure Tours. Unforgettable tour experiences at affordable prices. That's right, I'm Ilmo Koskala, voted best coffee roaster slash tour guide by Coffee World Magazine. And I'm here to give you the tour of a lifetime. But Ilmo, I've heard the government has seized and restricted access to many local nature attractions. That is true, Yanko. Many local attractions have recently become fenced off by the government. And that's why, at Koskala Brothers Adventure Tours, we say, fuck the government. <laughs> we have bolt cutters. Oh, wow. You think of everything. And we'll take you anywhere. Hiking through the scenic Elderwood National Park. Fishing in the crystal clear waters. So of they have the bolt cutters, stand. right, basically. Bird watching at Majestic Mirror Peak. A tour of a lifetime is just one phone call away. Book now to get a 9% discount on this limited edition Oh Dear Diner Coffee Thermos. Adventure Tours. Television. Ah, okay, so they play again, huh? Ok, 
Okay, employee launch. Let me get to that. Oh, that's the very way, right? So we share a morgue with the funeral home next door. It's a shoestring budget. I guess you guys don't have that problem, though. Our only coroner rotates between a few other towns and he's away this week, but you can handle this, right? I'm qualified to perform examinations. Yes. Okay. Let's go down. Something about morgues. They always cheer me up. I can't say I feel the same. The bolt, bolt cutter, right? Hey, there's something there. Give me that. Anything else here? How about here? Okay. I can't use that. Okay. Oh, this is the locker room. Give me that. Give me that. Anything else here? No. I got something here. Nothing. can't force it open. Man, you should you guys should turn on some light, man. Okay. Let's take a look at our patient. I'll start with the external inspection before performing the internal examination. Let me just check something here. What is here? Aha! Give me that. Huh? Nothing? Can't be opened on this side. Alright. What was the cause of death? What other clues can the body give me? There's writing That's on it. here. Really? On the heart? Can't make it out. Writing? How'd they manage that? The body shows signs of being submerged in water post mortem. It doesn't add up. This looks like text. A tattoo? Nightingale didn't strike me as a tattoo guy. Mm. Uh huh. They did leave something inside his chest. Defensive wounds. They put up a fight. Mm. Order at the Cauldron Lake. Time to okay. see what Nightingale's body can tell us. All right. Bruises. Cause of that. Looks like Ninety Girl put up a fight. This looks like something was put in there. Ritual writing. Chest wound is cause of death. But the corpse is bloated. Waterlogged. Doesn't add up. There's definitely something in his chest. Hmm. Did the killers leave it there? All right. Let's check that. Hmm. It's the same 
same type of page we found at Cauldron Lake. Nightingale hunted Saga. Didn't see her. The Taken could not see into bright light. Light hurt them, made them vulnerable. Nightingale had no heart, but here he was, killing. Someone's created a fucked up fantasy about us. Hey, hold on. We found these kinds of pages. I didn't mm. think they were relevant to this case. I have them right here. Try to see into the light. He didn't have a heart, but he still got up. The page predicted all of it. It helped me fight him. Oh, oh, oh. He, he just disappeared. Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. Mm. Finding a way in would be difficult. A ritual. Saga would learn how. Stop the monster. Okay. Can I save it? I can't. Save just now. Uh, we were attacked There's by a no dead man. There's no rational explanation to what we just saw. I'd love to blame this on mass hallucination caused by inhaling volcanic gas, <laughs> but we both know that's bullshit. This was supernatural. Well, I'm glad you were the one to say it. Now we can figure out a way forward. Uh, what happened right to before the things got crazy, Sheriff Breaker just vanished. Maybe the sheriff knew more than he was letting on. Hmm. He seemed anxious, like he dreaded what was coming. One more mystery. The victim of a ritualistic murder turns into a monster. 
Is there a connection? Looks to me like the cult of the tree is performing rituals to create monsters. Hmm, maybe. We need to start with learning this cult's goal, their purpose. Alrighty. Okay. So this is locked. The medical storage is locked, huh? The morgue is... Let me go into the mine palace. Uh, Saga pursues Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. He was there too. Nightingale was, but... Oh, Saga pursues Saga Nightingale. was back at Cauldron Lake. He was there too. Nightingale was, but wasn't a taken. A creature of darkness. He was beyond her reach. Where some other strange reality, the dark place, merged with ours. This place and the dark place, a tarp thrown over top, drowning everything beneath it, a flood of darkness, soaking into everything, spoiling it, rotting it. The page called this area an overlap. Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult, required precise steps, a ritual. Saga would learn how. Stop the monster before he killed again. Her job, he'd be inside, waiting for her. I see. Radio, follow you, follow you into the dark. Okay, it's just a various artist, right? Three clues, so let's open that up. The cult of the three is performing rituals to create monsters. Maybe this one. Cult ritual. I don't have an explanation for this. How are they doing this? Okay, victim's body, organs. No. Page. What writing? Okay. Nightingale was the only victim to become a monster. Okay. Nightingale only vic the only. Okay. Why? All right. <laughs> All right. Okay. What else? Who's involved? Where Nightingale went, right? Don't I have any other uh, other clues? Ah, this one. Nightingale attacked us. A dead man turned into a monster. Light as a way to fight him. Pages predicting the future. There's no rational explanation. This is the case we must solve. Saga was back at the cauldron rig. Okay. Yes. Okay. Profile someone. Nightingale, right? The page places Nightingale back at Cauldron Lake. Calls him a Taken. We need to head over there, stop him, before anyone else gets hurt. Okay. We heard gunshots, y'all okay? 
Did you get spooked by the bodies? Sheriff Breaker disappeared. Nightingale turned into some sort of a monster, and there are offices down. You two handle things here. We need to get back to Cauldron Lake immediately. Fuck me. That's terrible. Hey. We'll do what we can, man. He's too... Anything else here? That's crazy, right, Thornton? Nightingale's heart was missing. How could he do anything? He's dead. Yeah, right. Well, that's all crazy talk. Monsters aren't real, and what do you mean the, the sheriff disappeared? <laughs> Fine pair. Hey. All right, let's go. My client has been held here long enough. Are you going to let me speak to them or not? Uh, just a moment, ma'am. Someone will be right with you. Who's this? Hey, how you doing? Nightingale and his cult are dangerous. We need to be prepared in case things escalate more than they already have. Can you call it in, Casey? A smart choice, Anderson. Yeah, a Agent Casey here. Yeah. We need backup. The Bright Falls case. Whoever you can spare. ASAP. Nice. Think we'll actually find Nightingale at the lake? The pages haven't been wrong yet. We can't assume the person writing these pages isn't playing us. I agree. But it's our best lead. Shall we go back? Hello? Come on. Car can be used to travel uh, between locations. Clock out, get a beer. Well, maybe three. I need to come clean, Anderson. I know why Nightingale was here 13 years ago. You do? He was chasing a writer, Alan Wake. Tammy mentioned him. She's writing a book on his disappearance. You know the detective character from his books, Alex Casey. Yeah, I've heard the jokes at the office. Cold case Casey. Murder case Casey. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry. Ha uh ha. -huh. It's the same name, similar job. It's the first thing anyone thinks of. It annoyed me, but that was it. Then, ten years ago, I started getting strange letters in the mail. Fragments of prose describing murders. You've heard the stories about what happened in New York. Some of it, at least. Bodies started to pile up. It was a murder cult. Turns out the fragments sent to me were from the crime books of Alan Wake. The cult was copycatting the murders from the books. In their heads, they were performing a ritual to bring Wake back. Their imagined prophet. After that case, I started looking into Wake's disappearance on the side. And you thought this case might be connected to him? His name does keep popping up. I just wanted you to have all the facts. Next time, give them to me before we find ourselves in the middle of a horror story. Good. <laughs>